Hello everybody, I am so excited to share this project with you today. I have been wanting to alter a book for quite some time. Uh, I got my inspiration from Stacy Young. She is Stacy Young Designs on Instagram. I will try and link her Instagram down below. Uh, if you don't know who she is, you definitely have to go check her out. All right, a couple quick things before I get into the video. If you could do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up, I truly appreciate it. Also, I love, love, love reading your comments, so be sure to leave one down below, even if it's just saying hi. And all of the supplies are listed in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out. All right, I'm going to explain what I'm going to, what I'm doing here. And I might play a little bit of music because uh, even though there isn't really much to explain on this part, I do feel if you are wanting to cre recreate this later for yourself, I feel watching it might be uh, helpful instead of me just taking a big portion of this uh, step out. So what I'm doing is I took probably about 20 to 30 pages and I am tearing them probably two or three at a time and just kind of tapering them up. Uh, and crinkling them and I am only using gesso so I'm not using any type of special glue or anything and looking back at at it now I probably should have used maybe some clear gesso or some matte gel or something that wouldn't cover up all of those words um, as much as I did I really wish I would have left more of the words showing in the end but I am planning on doing a live stream in the next uh, couple weeks. I won't be doing any live streams for a couple weeks, but in a couple weeks, I will be um, hopefully having a um, altered book to share with you guys in a live stream. So definitely be sure to um, be on the lookout for that in the next couple weeks. All right, so again, I am just tearing them. Uh, the pages and my daughter was not happy that I did this to a book. I know there is probably people watching this that are going to leave some not so nice comments. Uh, I used to alter books in the past, not the inside of the books, but like the outside. And I would always get comments saying, you know, you know, that I shouldn't be doing this, yada, yada, yada. And I understand books are precious, especially now that we live in such a world of technology. Um, but this book is pretty common. It's not a rare find or anything like that. It is old, but it's not nothing so rare that, you know, it's going to be missed, I don't think. All right, so I am going on the opposite side now so that I can kind of get a similar look on both sides. And again, I am going to be tearing them kind of just randomly, not really in any particular way, but just kind of tapering them up a little bit so that they can crunch up really nicely, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of weird sounding, <laughs> but uh, that's the only way I can explain it. And as you could see, I'm kind of kind of crinkling them all together. And I am going to continue to do this until I don't have any more pages left. And again, I don't remember exactly how many pages I am doing. Probably, actually, you know what? Probably around 30 to 40 pages, to be honest, because I am doing two or three at a time. And I really like this tapered look. And it gives the book like a really shabby um shabby look and when I crinkle them on some of the pages I kind of rip a little bit of them just to kind of give it a little bit more interest and I'm going kind of back and forth to see um, how I want the pages to look uh, I think that's it uh, but again I didn't really have much to explain for this po portion of the video um, for this step but I did feel that it was needed for those that want to uh, recreate it for themselves so that they can watch to kind of see how it's done. So I'm going to play a little bit, bit of music. If you want to skip uh, on to the next step, I believe it's about eight, eight minutes or so, eight minutes and 20 seconds into the video that you can skip to and you will be on to the next step.
right, so I have finished tearing and crinkling and all of that sort of thing for the book. And you could see that it looks like a, I don't know, like a shabby book. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but I am going to be adding some lacy material now. This is just going to give the book a little bit more interest and uh, just more texture. And I'm adding it with some 3D matte gel. And I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly where the larger parts of the lace are are so that I can put the gel underneath it. Uh, it is a little bit hard to add glue um, behind lace because no matter what, it's going to kind of goop out and seep through. But I was trying my best and now I'm going to add some more gesso. I am just kind of trying to tone down all of that yellow on that lace. This was actually a shawl uh, that I picked up for uh, photography when I was doing newborn photos. Um, and I absolutely love it and I thought I'm not doing photography anymore so I would use it in some of my projects. I am kind of tucking in some uh, cheesecloth here and there underneath the pages and I did actually add a doily, a French doily, um, underneath a, some of the pages. I don't think in the end you can really see it. Maybe it peeks out just a tad, but after I added all of the flowers and stuff, uh, you really couldn't see it. So that really was, wasn't necessary, but it de definitely, um, if you want to add more uh, doilies, you can definitely do that and it will look really shabby and really nice. All right, so this is a shutter from Prima. And again, all of the supplies are listed in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out. I am adding some gesso. I'm not painting it completely white, but mostly white. I am adding the 3D matte gel to adhere it to the book. I really want this um, uh, shutter to really adhere nicely so that's why I'm not using Fabri-Tac for this I'm using the, the matte gel because the gel will definitely hold up better um, in the end so as you could see too behind that shutter I did add a couple of pieces of the book um, without adding a lot of gesso to them because I wanted some of the words to show all right so uh, recently, in I think it was my last live stream maybe, I had uh, shown this mold and I got it on Amazon and it will be linked down below of course. And I had gotten it so that I can make uh, like these little half spheres <laughs> or half circles with uh, resin and alcohol inks. It didn't work out with the alcohol inks, but it got me thinking when I was running out of the art melange pebbles from Prima that I can use clay or resin. I really like clay, uh, but I used it to make my own little pebbles. So I get asked quite often if I can do videos on um, ways to save money on crafting or budget-friendly supplies. Honestly, molds, if you use a lot of uh, embellishments, molds are definitely the way to go because you can continually use them over and over and over and over again and they are definitely a great investment. So, and you can use all sorts of things. Uh, somebody uses spackle, um, another person uses hot glue. So you can definitely use more budget friendly things other than paper clay, but I personally like paper clay, so that's what I use. Um, and if in the future, I will definitely try and think of other things uh, that I can share with you guys um, for budget friendly uh, supplies and things like that. Um, but if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear them and it might help somebody else out that is starting uh, crafting and can't buy a lot of, you know, name brand things. Uh, I feel very blessed that I have a lot of these things and I have bought in a lot uh, myself, but a lot of the Prima products um, I did get from being on their design team. So 
I don't think that I would have as many of the Prima flowers, especially uh, if I wasn't on their design team because let's be honest, I am a crafter on a budget. So um, most of us are. So um, and Prima flowers are definitely expensive. But anyways, all right, so I am adding lots of pink, I wanted to go with purple. Well, Abby suggested purple. So I was trying to go with purple, but I didn't have enough purple flowers. And I looked in my bin of random flowers. And I had so many pink flowers. Pink is really not my favorite color to craft with. But I thought it's a book, it's kind of shabby looking. Let's do pink. And Abby said, Okay, I'll approve the pink. So she approved it. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of and adding random flowers, I'll try and um, list all of them in the description box for you guys so if you guys want them you can pick them up i did add a lot of those pebbles uh, the clay pebbles that i had made and then also uh, some uh, keyholes that i had created using a uh, mold and some clay and then i added some upholst upholstery thread behind some of the flowers as well to give it more texture and interest now I am going to be adding some gesso on top of the flowers just to kind of let everything flow really nicely together. And I didn't add any uh, paste like with a stencil or anything like that. So um, I skipped that step because I knew I was going to be adding a lot of embellishments and things. All right, I think I added a few little resin bees and dragonfly and butterfly. Um, and yeah i want to make sure that i remember everything oh and the resin frame behind the photo and i popped up the photo well i put a bunch of foam um, in the center of the frame so that it would sit really nicely um uh, the photo would sit really nicely on top of that frame all right so i mixed together some art stones not pebbles art stones and with the 3d matte gel and then I decided that I wanted to add some crackle paste and I am using a Tonic Studios spatula to uh, add just kind of randomly uh, all over the book uh, some of the crackle paste and this one is from Cosmic Shimmer. I absolutely love this one and I always say this but I wish it did come in a larger size because I am running out and it hasn't dried up on me. I think the top is a little bit dry but that's I mean as you could see I scrape it off I should kind of mix it back into the bottle um, but again I said this in my uh, video you um, trying uh, let's see what I'm what am I trying to say I said this in my nouveau embellishment mousse video that not everything lasts forever so um, but I know that you know we do spend money on the supplies so it is kind of a bummer when things dry up and things like that but I think that there is a way to um, uh, avoid that in this situation with the Cosmic Shimmer Crackle Paste. Just kind of mix it back in to the, the uh, bottle instead of leaving it on top like I do. All right, so I am just finishing up adding that Crackle Paste and I did let it dry uh, on its own. I tend to try and force it to dry with my heat tool, which it works pretty well as long as you're not making it, you know, uh, blasting that heat tool um, really closely to that crackle paste. Uh, but after that dried, I am now going to add some gesso to the art stones and more to the flowers because now everything is dried and glued on. I can really add uh, more gesso to all of the embellishments and the art stones and all that sort of thing. So I am, I honestly, in the end, I didn't really think that I was going to use so much pink, but I did and Abby really likes the book. So I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, display it in her room for her because she really likes the, the picture too. So um, I am using two colors. Uh, mostly I am using, uh, what's this one, Peony, I believe. No, sorry, Cotton Candy uh, from Prima, the color bloom spray. And also, uh, let's see, what's this one, Peony. 
So those are the two colors that I used uh, mostly and I water them down so that they kind of just get in all of those nooks and crannies and crevices and all that sort of thing. I didn't really add too much variation of color uh, because I really wanted it to be shabby. I didn't want to add a lot of dark uh, like black or a brown or anything like that. I really just really wanted it to be uh, really shabby looking and with the pink and the white and all of like the lace and the, all of that sort of thing I think it turned out pretty shabby <laughs> like I said before I don't really use a lot of like this much pink in my projects but um, it was a lot of fun to use and I definitely needed to add, uh, use up some of those pink flowers that I had so I am just going around and uh, adding the color to behind some of the pages on the art stones on the uh, art pebbles that I created with the clay uh, and using the water to kind of water it down and continue to uh, add the uh, the color so I'm going to play some music because I don't think that there really is any more uh, to explain but I will be back shortly while I finish up adding the color I ended up dry brushing on some gesso after the color had dried I didn't show that just because well I don't know why I didn't show it in the end I really love how this turned out even though it is like in your face pink I know some of you love pink I like pink too I just I don't usually use this much pink in my projects but I am 
I think I'm done with the project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time that I upload a video. Please leave me a comment down below. Comments have been lacking a little bit and I, I absolutely love reading them. Abby reads them with me. We love reading them together and I really appreciate it. I want to thank you guys again and I will catch you guys later. Bye.